in this week's vlog, I get a new supervisor, I get judged by my dog, and have a laugh with Benyam. Okay, nope, the computer won't start. It is Friday morning, that means it is a shop update today, and I'm packing a new candle. It's my favorite one. They are selling them out. They don't make. They don't have them in my in the grocery store anymore. So I bought like five of them when I saw they were selling them out. It is True Love Sun Kissed Orange and White Flowers. Oh, I will enjoy having it. Anyway, uh, we're going to update the shop. Send out the newsletter. Um, check the inventory. Albert. Albert. Shh. And do all of that. And then I think I'm going to make some paint. We'll see. It is um, really bad weather today. I am in quite a lot of pain. The dogs are just annoying <laughs> as per usual. So um, we have five dogs. One dog is my dog. That is Albert. He's a poodle. All the other dogs are mom and dad. They have a kennel. They breed um, petit. Uh, Basset Petit dogs and so number one is Dagmar and she is now in heat and then we have Herman which he is not in heat but he knows that she is and he also knows that his little sister Uni she is in heat too so he can't be with either of those Dagmar and Uni they can't be together because they're both in heat and they will like you know fight it out um so it is, um, I'm joking and say it is Göta Kanal with all the different, it's a Swedish joke anyway. Um, so Herman is out here in the kennel and then I have Asta and Albert in with me here and then Juni she is being inside on the sofa and Dagmar she is with my dad at work. So it is so fun. <laughs> anyway, um, oh crap I still didn't, uh, didn't charge the, com the camera from yesterday. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'll see you later. Let's see. Tire them out. No. Oh yeah. Hey. Oh, both of them. Oh. Oh, you're so clever. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh. Hey. Oh, they are. I think they're leaving this weekend. Oh. Looks like he crawled out of the ditch. <laughs> anyway. So their owners. They were here yesterday with a whole. Uh, with a whole basket of apples. The spoiled eat horses. Yeah, you're spoiled. <laughs> and we have the cows here. I mean, they do tend to be together. Um, 
as long as this guy behaves because he gets these sort of I don't know ideas that he needs to sh chase the the black cow there yeah <laughs> yeah anyway they do look like they have a good life don't they starting of October <laughs> Uh, I have started sleeping a little bit better, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> it is the small things, but now the girls are starting to get into the, the real heat of it, if you know what I mean. Which means that the boys, their hormones are just out of whack completely. Herman, he can not think about anything than doing his little sister uni. Uh, Albert, he would like to do that too. He's not really sure about the thing. <laughs> but he, he knows he wants to do something. Um, yeah, he, he's much easier to handle than Herman. But still. So, and Asta, she has no idea what's going on. And uni, she is just, you know, a little bit depressed, I think. And she wants to get, you know, something, uh, anyway. So yeah, uh, and Dagmar, she is one week behind. Mm. So just when Yuni will start to go down in her hormones, Dagmar will, she just, yeah, sometimes. So, um, so we can't have them near each other. And in the morning, I am always woken up by the howling of really horny dogs. Yeah, I never thought I was going to say that sentence, but here we are. Anyway, let's see if we can bring all my little friends together so we can get some work done, shall we? <laughs> what are you doing up there? He's not home. No? I'll bet. So my little brother, he lives up there, but he is at school. <laughs> so he won't open the door for you. But that is the first thing he will do always, every single time we are, because there is the gate, and he will run this way and up, <laughs> every time. Oh, yeah. It's pretty amazing, really. Usually dog don't like stairs and you can't see through it. Uh, but yeah, when he was like after the surgery and when he was being able to start walking, that was like his pride and joy that he could walk up that stairs. So yeah. Anyway. <gasps> Who is coming here? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so it's a little bit of a mess, but I thought I was just going to share a few things. So first of all, the colouring pages that I've been working on for some time that I have printed out. Uh, I got this beast. <laughs> um, because I thought I was going to try to do some planner in like a disc band. But luckily I had bought replacement rings uh, from Craftelier. And I really liked them so I switched them out which was good because these were broken. But I thought I could use them for this and just keep the pages that I'd colored in before and bound them like this because I'm not going to do anything with them but I sort of want to save them um, because they're very pretty I think anyway um, and that way I can save them but it won't take up that much space so and then all the stuff that I haven't colored I just I put that in here too. So uh, this is 11. Uh, one of these had broken while I was getting it. It's from American Craft. I should have known. American Craft stuff never is not good. I love the design of it, but they are so quality is so bad with American Craft. Anyway, rant over. <laughs> so I thought uh, next time I'm going to place an order with Craftelier because I do that quite regularly, let's be honest. I thought I was going to buy another pack of their metal discs um, and have that here. I really like that. So, and then I can just make a harder cover. So I did that, but I've also spent some time in my sketchbook. So we have 
this page i know she looks like a zombie we don't need to talk about it but i was like sort of exploring the empire fashion trends and i had to include napoleon why i have no idea and i was playing with some ink from jane davenport and ferris wheel press and this one is just uh, a watercolor piece that i uh taped in here this is for another project <laughs> And here I want to make a sleep now because it is soon in North November. So I would like to make a sleep now piece. But I have been trying to do this piece since last year. Okay. <laughs> and I can't get the legs right. I know that usually you go with this style and then just add in the legs sort of behind it. But I feel like if sleep now was real, I mean it's a mythical creature so... But I would think it would be something more like this. Um, which is of course way odd looking. And so that's what I've been trying to figure out how I can make it happen. Here is another little version of that. Here is another. There are just so many legs. <laughs> um, and then I was like, I don't want to draw more legs. So I want to draw a head. And then I saw a reference image of like a baroque horse and they painted horses way differently and i was like i want to see if i can do that and yeah sort of so and i have also got this uh color race pen in tuscan red that i've been playing around with and see if i like um sketching with this more or less than something else so yeah i mean i do like you can get pretty dark with it but i mean i would not say it's erasable you can make it lighter, but it's not erasable, so I'm not sure about that. Hey, what are you doing? I don't know what she's doing. Anyway, so that's what I've been working on on the art side. I also have a little bit of a stack of magazines. Now, I subscribe to history magazines because, one, I love history, just reading about it. But uh, I think you have noticed that quite a lot of my stuff that I do have... Um, connections to history <laughs> so yeah so yesterday I went through all the magazines that I have here in the studio and uh, all this stuff that had anything to do about Viking North mythology anything that is on my desk right now uh, also my my North books that are up here but I thought I was going to start with the magazines <laughs> to get inspiration for the North November stuff now should this North of Amber stuff be done? Like, I want to do some colouring pages, I want to do stickers. Should that be done by now? Yeah, yeah, it should. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to work on something else. <laughs> because that's how we do it. Um, yeah, we'll see how much I get done. I really would like to make a colouring page with Sleipner in the way I think he should look. But we will see if I can make him look the way I think he should look. That is that is the thing with it. Um, but my plan for today, yeah, it is packaging orders, packaging some gifts. Because I have a few persons I want to send some gifts to. Um, uh, Jem, she, I, I send stuff to her all the time. She really has. Before I was like, hey, is it okay if I send you some stuff? Uh, now I just, I send all to her. Uh, but I was going to send it to her like last or the previous week. Oh, but because the printer, I couldn't print out the wrapping for the new colors that are coming in November. So I couldn't give her that. But now I have it and I fixed everything yesterday. So now I can <laughs> wrap the colors to give to her. Albert, bring us some brushy. Anyway, and then I would like to send a little gift to my friend that I that I met in my English class. She is just adorable, so I'm going to send her a little package too. Asta! Shh. Anyway. Let's let's just get Okay. <laughs> okay, so it is Friday and we are ready to go back. To work. Here is the colors I made yesterday. <laughs> yes, it's the same outfit. You know why change a winning concept? 
anyway. Um, what we need to do today <laughs> is actually one of those, you know, really boring things that you never take time to actually schedule. So, you know, like, I don't schedule that I need to actually clean up after myself or rearrange or organize. I don't do that. And then I was like, oh crap, I really need to do that. So, today we're going to go through and just, well, I'm saying we, it's me, I need to do it. Um, clean up, make sure all the plants are watered, everything is in the right place. But what we're going to start with is the most fun of all. That was sarcasm, by the way. So here we have my, the paints. Yeah. And these are baking trolleys, I think they're called. Um, you know, you push the whole thing into the oven. Hence the very nice patina. <laughs> that they have. Um, I bought them from a bakery that was moving so that's really nice um, but as you can see there's a lot of paint here yes we see you too um, but what I want to do is to move all the paint uh, all the paints that are being wrapped to different trays so that when I'm going to actually wrap the paints I can just take that tray out and I don't need to organize everything. And also some paints, when I have made them, I just need a tray so I've just like, for example here, we have, there's just like, there's no reason these colors should be together. So we're going to organize trays. It takes forever and it's not really fun, but you know, it needs to be done because I didn't do it before. So here we are. Okay, Tuesday morning and we are picking up just where we left off. Uh, yesterday I did Sina, Agnetha. Did I do that? Yes, oh, you have no idea. Frigg. <laughs> I cleaned uh, Hell and I have named Hell, so now I'm just wrapping up. I also did a lot of wrapping, uh, you know, like the actual wrapping. 
And we have also fenced off this area right here. So you can see the cows are here, but the horses they left on Saturday. And Albert is here in the armchair because that's that's the kind of boy he is. He's an armchair kind of boy. So yeah. Um, what else can we sort of update on? I'm going to wrap hell and then I'm hoping to try and start edit a new video. So I have a few videos coming out which I'm really excited about. I just want to try and keep it up but I am so tired. Um, and I just, I really, really need to prioritize, like, what is most important. So, you know, and that's an ongoing thing. We all know it. I talk about it all the time, so it's not a big shocker to anybody. But, <laughs> so that's um, the plan for today. So, wrapping one color and then hopefully uh, get a beat, anyway, like, halfway with the editing on the other video. Uh, I think it's pretty straightforward. It's more like a process video and typically process videos are easier to do Hopefully anyway um, So yeah, I have this grand idea of doing you know coloring pages and stickers and everything for North November and for December but I have decided to put that on hold. Uh, I might still do something but I'm not going to, I, I really wanted to do like a sleep nerve piece and I really wanted to do a lot of things as always, but I just, I have no energy, um, or I have very little, I should say, of course I have energy, I mean, I can sit up and talk, um, but it, I have very little and I get very tired and, um, I just need to accept that that is the way it is. My pain levels are a lot higher. Uh, I have talked to my, I don't know, um, like in Sweden we have like, like the local care and then we have like the doctor care. I don't know. Anyway, so I have called them and they have set up an appointment with a physical therapist to check out my hips because that is the place where I have most, um, consistent pain so yeah usually my fibro is very like a very sporadic very I would describe it as pretty fluent um it is in pretty much all like it is in all of my body but I don't typically have one place where it hurts more it generally moves quite a lot but my hips have been bothering me for quite some time and it's just getting worse and it's to the point where I'm really uh, like I don't want to go out like to go out and walk I do um, and I'm very happy that my mom is like you know like we push each other so and she is like she doesn't want to go out I'm like okay well, let's go out you know <laughs> and she does the same to me but it just it's painful and I get very tired from doing it because it does increase my pain level. Anyway, so next week I'm going to go and see see him and see if he can like, uh, I don't know. I'm hoping that he can give me like some, uh, some stretching maybe. I'm trying to be realistic, like what, like what realistically can he do to make it better? But I'm thinking like, um, because I was doing quite a lot of yoga last, year um, and that really made it worse <laughs> um, so or two years ago was it no a year ago um, and I was told to stop it so I'm hoping that maybe something that I can pick that up again maybe and something that just will ease it up because it does hurt and it yeah so that would be that would be very nice, uh, and then I think we might uh, get a doctor appointment to check my meds and see if we can, um, like, well, I want to increase the dose of the pain tablets that I'm taking. Um, now I have had a higher dose of the pain medication, and that 
really wasn't good. I was feeling really bad, like I got a lot of stomach aches from increasing the dose. So that wasn't good. <laughs> and now I'm like, can we please jump it up? But yeah, so we'll, we'll see. I mean, uh, I talked about a few months ago that I was going to see a dietitian. I still have not got a uh, appointment for that. Um, you know, I mean, typically we have pretty good health care here in Sweden, but it because it's free and it's all like referral, it takes it takes a really long time. And I think it was us talking about it in like May or June, and we are now what mid October. So I hope that I get a time pretty soon because um I have been told that. You know, if you eat right, it can really help with the pain, but when I was eating right, I gained a lot of weight, and I don't think it's good to gain a lot of weight. So, now I don't gain a lot of weight, but I don't eat as good either. So, you know, anyway, anyway, I'm going to wait and do anything until I've talked to the proper people. Um, I have made that decision that I'm not taking advice, I'm taking advice as in like you might need to get that checked out, like my hips, but I'm not taking advice from other people saying do this or try this, I'm like nope, I'm just, I'm, I'm only taking advice from people that I can sue if it goes wrong. Maybe I've watched too many American movies, I don't know, anyway, so yeah. That was my little vent. I'm going to go back, wrap hell, and then I'm going to hopefully start edit a video. It's about 8 in the morning and we have had our first frost. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my hips were like, they were not good yesterday and now I know why. But I did take a very hot outfit. Oh, it's the bloody ball. Um, but I did take a really hot bath yesterday before I went to bed. And then I had my electric heating blanket on. <laughs> so it's actually kind of okay today, isn't it? Sort of. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, this is my mom's new project. She is um, sort of looting my old bean bag <laughs> and making dog beds out of it. Uh, so far, she's made two. They have proved very popular, so I've asked her to make more, <laughs> which is why it's still here. But uh, she has been using my sewing machine, which is one of those really cheap, crappy ones, and it's not working very well. But anyway, <laughs> the dogs really enjoy the bean bag dog beds. I don't know what to call them, but yeah, especially this one. Yeah. Okay. So it's after lunch and I would like to get some work done on my little diorama. It's not come very far. <laughs> so I'm going to do that here uh, because what I want to do 
is, well, I want to finish it so I can make a video, <laughs> but I'm thinking that I would like to make some gates, and my plan is to just draw that on some piece of paper because digital creation is not my strong point, uh, and then just photograph it and send that to the silhouette and then cut that out and I'm thinking I might do two or three layers of it so you get quite sturdy and just glue that one on top of each other. Uh, I have also brought down some embossing powder that I think it can get some really cool aging look but that can take some time to cut out very intricate details so I'm thinking I can do some editing while well, that is going on. Of course I need to draw up the gates first and I do have a visual thing in my head I'm just not sure if it will look amazing but yeah so we have that to work on. I also got a very um, travel worn scroller box here. This is my last one um, for now. I have done scroller box three or four times maybe and yeah I've been talking to Jem over at the color cave I mean she is a little bit like the master uh, if you're if you have any questions about subscri subscription boxes you can ask her she knows them all and yeah I, and we were talking and she was like what what is it that you don't like about it and I think um, because, I mean, you can have this, like, I don't like that, and I don't like that, but I think what I actually really don't like about uh, the scroller box, because that's the one I've had, and what why I won't sign up for, like, the upgrade, and I think it's the same, it's the, the sort of lack of cohesiveness within the boxes. Uh, some are really good, like, strong hits, and then there are some, like, real misses, um, and I'm just like, I'm not up for that. Um, this one, I have seen her unpack. <laughs> so I know this one was very good and had a very strong, strong theme where, with products that really worked really well together. It was a little bit more like, um, um, like um, graphite, black and white kind of theme. We have some... Um, what do you call it? There's like tailor chalk and there was a pad of blue paper, I think they're calling it. Um, which is really nice and then sometimes you get like five different markers and you're like, well, what is the plan here, you know? Um, and if all the box, because I'm not that fussed about what kind of medium, to be honest. Um, I think that's really fun um, and I really like venturing out when it comes to mediums but I also feel like there has to be some form of thought behind it. If I'm going to pay this amount for these art supplies then I want a part of that money to be the thought behind it. You know, That is my rant on it. <laughs> to say for now I'm not going to get any more. Um, I might sign up in the future, who knows, but for now and I'm a bit sad. I really like getting these sort of mystery boxes and um but yeah and I mean if there is one that I really really like you can go and buy that just like one off. Now, that's what's good with Squalor Box. Uh, so I have done that too. Okay anyway <laughs> uh okay we need to focus on my little gate here. Uh, I just wanted to get a little bit of a break and work on some videos and then go back to wrapping paint yeah so I'm just going to get some non photo what do you call it non photo copy blue and let's start see if we can get a gate out of this now a little spoiler I did manage to make a gate and I'm going to let you see a very sped up time lapse of just how I did that as a little sneak peek to pique your interest and make you want to come back on the 31st of October to see how the whole project, the whole diorama 
turned out. It will have a very spooky feeling, I promise. Anyway, I just want to say thank you so very much. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog and other vlogs and that you will enjoy future videos. Hopefully you will be coming back on the 31st. It is in about a week and a half to see the project being complete. Um, and uh, and yeah, hopefully that will be that will be good. On Sunday there will be another video coming out and I'm really happy about it. This little week that I sort of took off from vlogging, I mean I still have vlogged obviously, here is the video of it, but I sort of prioritized the actual editing of more art videos and I'm really happy I did. So now I feel like I am a little bit more uh, a bit more ahead, so hopefully that will result in even more art videos in the future fingers crossed uh, and keep your thumbs you know so anyway thank you so very much for for watching I hope you have enjoyed it hit subscribe like whatever and uh, in the meantime take care <laughs>